going on guys? Chase, ChaseWins.com coming to you for Sunday. It is the 8th of March, Daylight Savings Time. Hope everyone remembered to push their clocks forward and uh, that way they're not showing up late or, I don't know, maybe early to something. I don't know. Um, let's do a quick recap of yesterday. Get you on a free play for today. And then I've also got a NASCAR video that I did a little bit earlier. Um, that will give a free head-to-head -head pick on behalf of Patrick. This is going to be a big race today, guys. Very difficult race to um, to cap and analyze and break down. There are some changes that have been really taking place not only at the track over the last few years, but now with the race packages that are going to be used. So this is the fear of the unknown. Um, how some drivers are going to take to it, um, how some people are going to get acclimated to changes. And um, it's really going to come down to what Patrick thinks is what drivers have spent the right amount of time prepping, you know, really going out there and testing and doing things to be ready and prepared for not only the changes in the race car, but the changes in the race car and the packages going into a, a track that has had changes made, that's already made it difficult for some drivers who historically have been good at this track. So this is what separates the men from the boys here, guys. If you cap your own NASCAR or if you purchase NASCAR from, you know, a capper of sorts that um says that they're an expert and they're not already telling you about the the things going on and they're not taking it into consideration what's going on the past few years you can throw that shit out the window and that's not saying that that patrick's going to be dialed into the point of i know exactly what's going to happen but i can tell you this there's things that he's been following since last season for these changes coming up, he knew about these changes well before anyone else in this industry did, being that he's in it. I guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of every other so-called capper that does NASCAR still doesn't know about these changes. Couldn't tell you anything about them. So not only did they not prepare for it, he's been knowing that they've been coming, been studying them since then, and knows the avenue to take. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't, he dials it back and he'll be ready to go the next one, seeing that some of the things that he perceived to go on and what drivers were expecting to happen and pit crews were expecting to happen didn't. Sometimes that's what happens. You have to go out there and kind of take one for the team to ensure that you're going to be correct going forward. So let's get on a recap and then I'll do the NASCAR video, get you on a free play for today. Today is going to be in the NBA. Um... Yesterday, NBA had one play, one premium play, and it was the Hawks and the Grizzlies under 233 and a half. Easy win, so 1 0 there. Um, Philadelphia Flyers in regulation, minus $1.45 yesterday. The only play in the NHL, they won 3 to 1. That was the top play of the day, so that was a winner there. So a sweep in the NHL and in the NBA with a top play win. College basketball win on Western Carolina on the money line. Pretty easy win there. I hope everyone watched the free play video giving out a play on West Virginia to beat Baylor. They took it to the house and never looked back. So now let's hear that number one talk some more. Oh, they uh, they actually are the number one team. You gotta give me a fucking break. They're not the number one team. They never were. They're not going to be. They, they've been exposed. Everything fell into place for them to say, hey, we can win these games and be number one, but when you finally get to a team that has figured you out, you cannot win. So, but I'm sure we'll hear plenty of it. LaSalle in the same video, outright winner. So, um, I, anyway, sorry about that. So, hopefully you watch that and cash in on those winners too, Western Carolina. But we did drop Penn State, Furman, and Arizona State, Washington State under 148. But if you take everything into consideration with the top play win, we still turned a profit yesterday. It just wasn't the greatest day in college basketball. So, but turning profit to what it's all about, that's my goal going into every day, despite what the records may be. If we turn profit, it's a successful day, and we move on to the next day. So, free play today. We're going to go to the NBA. I'm going to give you another total that I like. Uh, earlier game, 3.35 p.m. Eastern time, Pelicans, Timberwolves. 247 and a half is the total. And I'll be honest with you, even though these teams went off for like a combined 270-something points last game, 
I just don't see that happening today. I feel like these two teams know each other well enough to know what needs to happen. I feel like last time there was way too many, you know, times where people were going to the line off of careless mistake fouls. And if they can correct that, we're talking about dialing it back down by 20 points just off of correcting those mistakes. Not to mention... The Timberwolves relied heavy on the three-point shot the last few times they met. I do believe that the Pelicans are going to remember that and try to, you know, dial back the, you know, the chances they get off of good looks from the perimeter. They can do that. That's another big chunk of points that we can take from this. And I do think that not necessarily them trying to go in and, and crowd Zion because you're not going to be able to do very much. Let Zion do what he does. And then have make it difficult for Lonzo Ball to find the open man because that's what he's good at. It, you know, you can say whatever you want about the guy. He is good when it comes to finding the open man. Period. So make sure that you know you take that into consideration. And I do think that that's going to be a big, big deal when it comes to their defensive game plan today. Let's shut him down. And even though that way we don't have to double or triple team Zion or try to go after people that are very difficult, it's not hard to guard Lonzo Ball. And if you take him out of being able to find the open man, you're already doing a very, very, I don't know how I want to word it. You're crippling their offense to an extent where they're not going to be able to come down the floor, find the open man fast, and get quick points. They're going to have to burn more time. All in all, that being said, I don't see this game getting upwards of 250. If these teams implement the changes that I think that they will, I'm seeing a game more around 235. Either way you want to cut it, I'm going under 247.5. That is your free play. In the NBA, I've already bet the game. It's on the card, which I'm doing now. The, um, the NBA selection's already done. I've got three plays. All of them are totals plays. Um, already posted, one of them being a top play. NHL, NCAA will be done soon. NASCAR will be posted the hour before the race starts due to people trying to steal this card and put it out to their customers. We're going to make it a little more difficult for them today. Race card is done, but it will not be released to any client under any circumstances until that point. So you better stay by your computer. Wait for that email. All right, guys. See you back for Monday. And, um, oh, the uh, coupon codes CAP, C-A-P, and the number 10 gets you 10% off um, the March Madness package. Kyle, C-Y-L-E, and the number 10 gets you 10% off the NASCAR season, um, which will save you 50 bucks, which is what you're going to spend right now buying today's race card. And, oh, the NBA, which is flat out on fire, and NHL, both seasons on sale for $249 going until midnight tonight only. And today is the last day you can donate to the Cal Ripken Foundation on behalf of ChaseWins.com. So if you have any questions, shoot me an email, Chase at ChaseWins.com. I'll shoot you over the link to the page where you can donate. Everything is appreciated. There's nothing too big or too small. And um, cannot wait to tally it up and then be able to head to Baltimore and get some great content out of this. So see you guys.